In this parsha, say about Abraham, both Me'arat and Kepila, and in this week, thousands and thousands of people came to Hebron every year to be in Hebron. I used to live in Hebron for three years, and they learned the Shiva Shalim in Hebron, and my Yair and Geffen, my two kids, first kids, born in Kiryat Arba in Hebron, and today, I'm going to share with you a couple of stories about Hebron. Uh, and to do any short tours in Hebron. Okay, and to understand why it's such a big deal for me, Arat and Ahmedah from Hebron. Ready? Yeah. Ready. 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 church, we will see picture of this church inside. And every generation is someone else to be Marat al-Makhila. Today, we're going to say what happened, what is this building. We start back with the short tour in Marat al -Makhila. thousand years old.
we found the Lara like this. This is the Christian and this is the community. This is the seventh step that I talk about. Outside of the building, in the seventh step, the Jews 600 years stay and die. They do not let us in Marat and Estela and Daven inside. Even if all the year we have the community, not big, but small community in Hebron, is like Maradim and Ashkenazim, Hasidim and Mitnadim and all over the Jewish world. Can we live in Hebron? 1967, Six Day War, Rav Shlomo Goen came to the Kotel Marabi, blow his shofar, go and tap the Harabai, where is the temple of Kaila, and say Harabai Beadim. We capture Harabai and Yerushalayim, and right after I say, okay, wow, now I could go and conquer Hebron. The commander in this situation told him, stop, you, do not get, you don't go without background without soldier, without other help with you. It's so dangerous. The Arabs in Hebron is majnun. You know what's in majnun in Arabs? Crazy. Crazy, violent, really crazy. Okay, they will kill you. They're so dangerous. The Rabbi say, after 2,000 years, and more than 600 years, that no one step inside the Yarat Machala, I don't care. The commander tells him, no, it's in an order. You do not go, it's dangerous. And they say, I'm so sorry, but my rank <coughs> is higher than you, so you cannot give me an order. My what? Yeah. Rank. My rank. I don't go. And he say, okay, I go. He took his driver and he drove to Hebron. Once Rav Goren came to Hebron, all the Arabs raised their white flag mm -hmm. and with, without any shooting, the mayor of Hebron, Rosh Ha'ir Shel Hebron, came to the rabbi and gave him the key of the Me'arat HaMachpelah. And he told him, this is belong to you, the Jewish nation. And we saved the key for you in the last 600 years. So the rabbi Goren was the first Jewish that daven inside the Me'arat HaMachpelah. This is the picture how he put the Israeli flag on the top of the Me'arat HaMachpelah. This week, it will be the 20 uh, year site of the Rav Gold. And he was? He, was he, he passed away 20, 20 years ago. This is the picture of the Ulam Yitzchak. So they told you that the Arabim daven in this space is the big space. And you <coughs> understand why it's the most important place in the Mera. I didn't put it in the and this is picture of the Tziyun Abraham. And what means Tziyun? It means it's not actually the grave. The, because the building is not buried under the cave. They buried under the building. So under all these big buildings, we have a small cave. So even if we have different uh, places, it's not say that they exactly buried. And this gate, it's called Petach Hanerot, the gate of the candle. In the gate of the candle, this is the gate that took us inside the cave, the actual cave where the Avram and Sarah and all our fathers buried. But the Arab said, hundreds of hundreds of years, everybody knows, who is go inside from this cave, he doesn't one way ticket. He died inside. In in the in the 1500s, Rabbi Shlomo Rabbi Rabbi Avram David Azulai, his grandfather of the Chida, one of the famous rabbis, he 